We need 2 liter of prepared tap media, photo bioreactor, temperature probe, and air filter. Then, we need a flask with bottom side arm, tube, and inoculum port. After that, we need cotton wool and aluminium foil for covering some part of the photobioreactor and the flask. First of all, make sure the vessel and the flask are clean. Pour 0.2 liter of the prepared tap media into the flask. Then, pour the remaining 1.8 liter to the vessel. Cover the flask mouth with aluminium foil. Install the vessel head plate carefully. Then, secure the head plate. Attach air filter to the air or CO2 inlet. Then, install the temperature probe into the bioreactor. First, cover the inoculum port of the flask. After that, cover the bottom side arm. Place the flask inside the autoclave bag. Then, the photobioreactor. First, cover the temperature probe. Then, cover the inoculum port. Cover the air filter. Next, cover both the inlet and outlet of the water. After that, bend the tubes with paper clips to avoid leaking and contamination during autoclave.
All of the process must be done inside the laminar flow. Flame the inner part of the aluminium foil and the mouth of the flask. Cover the flask back while preparing the pipette. By using the pipette controller and serological pipette, take out small amount of sample from the stock culture. Then, transfer it into fork and tube. Flame the aluminium foil and the mouth of the flask again. Then, cover the flask. For cell counting, we need 100 microliters pipette, 100 microliters pipette tips, 2 milliliters sample, and hemocytometer. Switch on the computer. Open Motion Image Plus 2.0 software from the computer. Then, go to File menu and click Capture Windows. When Capture Windows appeared, click Camera Tabs. After that, switch on the microscope. Pull out the knob on the upper right hand side of the microscope. Clean the cover slider with alcohol before use it. Put the hemocytometer and cover slide on the stage. Set the pipette at 20 microliters and take out the sample. and put the sample on the hemocytometer. Adjust the height of the stage until a clear view appeared. Try to find a tile with double lines around it and select 5 random tiles for cell counting. Each cell count represents as X. Calculate the total number of X, then insert sum of X into the cell count formula to get the M1 value. So then, we can calculate the value of V1, which is the volume of stock culture to be inserted into the inoculum flask. Before transfer, remove the same amount of V1 from the tap media in the inoculum flask. Then, transfer the V1 from stock culture into the inoculum flask. Repeat the same steps opening the stock culture. Now, uncover the inoculum flask with bottom side arm. Flame the mouth of the inoculum flask.
Again, using the micro pipette, take the V1 amount of microalgae from stock culture. Then, transfer it into the inoculum flask. Flame the mouth and cover the stock culture. Repeat the same with the inoculum flask. Make sure to shake the flask gently, so that the microalgae are spread evenly. Open the cover of the inoculum port on the bioreactor. Then, open the port of the flask. Connect them together. Lift the inoculum flask slightly higher than the bioreactor. Let the media containing microalgae flow into the vessel. Once finished, release the port and seal them back with the cover. First, turn on the switches. Connect the temperature probe to the control tower. Turn on the control system. Then, attach the filter to the sparger's tube. Attach the inlet and outlet for the water to the control tower. After that, install the lamp to the photobioreactor. Set the parameter in the control system. Set the timer to the lamp for light duration. Then, you can run the bioreactor by turning on the main switch. Cover the entire reactor with dark cloth. 